is going on everybody? I go by the name of Kari and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. When we talk about sneaker designers and the people that we really hold in the highest regard as some of the best designers of our time, there's one name that we have to make sure we keep in the conversation. Sure, you have your Tinker Hatfields and people like that, but today we're taking a look at a special sneaker that was dedicated to one of the best sneaker designers, the first black sneaker designer at Nike and somebody that is more than deserving of everything that got packed into this special sneaker that's dedicated to him. Without further ado, let's get into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Nike Air More Up Tempo 96. Thank you, Wilson. Today, we're talking about none other than Wilson Smith III, a premier designer that actually got his start very similar, as a matter of fact, underneath the tutelage of the great Tinker Hatfield. To say Wilson Smith III's career has been inspiring would probably be one of the biggest understatements of the year. The things that he's done for both architecture, sneaker design, fashion, all the things that he's touched, the jobs that he's helped create, the doors that he's helped open, the trails that he's blazed out here. He is a true pioneer in what he's done and Nike decided with a very special team to give him a sneaker that actually is one of the most famous sneakers that he's responsible for bringing to life dedicated to him in an extremely special way. Before we even get into the sneaker, let's get back into the box because that's that's special. All right, now when we start with the box, we actually start with the early story of Wilson Smith III. He was really kind of a visionary even when he was a child. The box that you actually can see the light hitting it differently, you still see the Nike underneath that, but this entire box, of course, is artwork. This actually is a real picture that Wilson Smith III drew when he was in the fifth grade of what he thought the future might look like, and he called it Wilson World. Now, it almost looks like a futuristic theme park here. That looks like a little water slide there. Everything looks like space needles and the mountains and stuff. And of course, when you're in the fifth grade, he said back in the 60s or so, this is pretty much what everybody thought the future was gonna look like. Everything was gonna look kind of like this. And so this really interesting drawing, which at my big age is probably still a much better drawing than I could draw today, really kind of set the tone for what Wilson Smith wanted to do. He wanted to draw, create, design, and those all kind of led into his schooling. He formally went to school for architecture, similar to Tinker Hatfield, and actually got his first job at Nike working within architecture. Wilson was a corporate interior designer. That means that he was putting together inside spaces like office spaces and really getting the aesthetic right in certain offices and things like that. But when Tinker Hatfield was able to take a crack at design of shoes, he actually kind of took Wilson underneath his arm and allowed Wilson to be involved with some projects before allowing him to branch off on his own with some of his own projects. Now, even though Wilson started his job at Nike in 1983, it wasn't until 1986 that he would start being a designer. Now, people call him Mr. Tennis because if you know, Wilson was actually one of the senior tennis designers working with people like Andre Agassi on some really phenomenal projects back then. So that's really where he got his start was in the tennis world, which is really incredible. You don't really see a lot of um, black designers really doing their thing in tennis like that. But throughout the 90s, that's when he kind of moved over to the basketball lane and he was in charge of some incredible projects. Probably one of his most famous being Scottie Pippen's sneaker, the Air More Up Tempo. Now, fun fact, Wilson was also in charge of the Air Jordan 16 and 17, two models that I personally love. I really wish that Jordan Brand would bring back the 17. Whenever y'all wanna do that, I'm cool with it. Just make sure you include the suitcase too. But getting back to the Air More Up Tempo, the special shoe. This is kind of the magnum opus for Wilson Smith, the sneaker that he really is famous for designing himself. This sneaker says 90s. And for back then, Wilson has said in multiple interviews that the idea for this sneaker was that they wanted to make it big and they wanted to make it really ostentatious just like the 90s were. They were wearing big suits, they drove big cars, everything was big and right in your face in the 90s. And so that was the kind of the idea with the chunky midsole and the big air going across it. And before I even get too much deeper, let's get directly into the shoe. Starting with the upper of the shoe here. Now, like I mentioned, this is a standard up-tempo. To me, one of the most comfortable basketball sneakers that I put on my feet today, honestly. Now, the cool thing about this one is that you have the AIR in this really nice tumbled leather here 
really, really dope. White tumbled leather at that, but underneath that, of course, you'll notice you have this mesh netting. Now, of course, these colors are made to look kind of like a sunset. They're actually made to mimic, if you remember, the drawing from the fifth grade picture here on the box here. So that's where the inspiration for the coloring in this sneaker was drawn from. Now, I really like how they kind of did the mesh here with these grid lines because that kind of tells me, it almost reminds me of, of graphing paper or drawing paper or a sketch pad or something like that. Like, I love how they did kind of the grid lines and this netting here, kind of the idea behind that. But the colors, I think they knocked out of the park. Looks exactly like the picture on the box. To get a top down look at the shoe here. Now, at first glance, you would think that there really wasn't much to talk about here. You got the swoosh in the toe box, a little bit of the tumbled leather. Of course, the tongue is kind of the same. Everything's pretty much standard. But when we get onto the tongue, that's where it starts to get special. You'll notice on the tongue here, it says WS3-12-5-1983. That's actually the date that Wilson Smith III, WS3, started his career at Nike, December the 5th, 1983. The rest, of course, was history. Going back to the midsole standard, air up tempo midsole, nothing different about that. All those air bubbles going all the way down the length of the shoe, love that. On the outsole, standard up tempo outsole. Pink check here with the blue check as well with the air on the heel of the shoe. Again, looking just like the photo, the picture, the hand drawing on the box itself, very fly. But the other Easter egg I really love about this shoe is on the insole. On the right insole, regular insole, but you actually get Wilson Smith's signature on the heel and on the left insole. Love this quote. In humility, count others more significant than yourselves. I love that quote personally. For those who know me like in real life, they know that I'm always trying to be very humble and always count others more important than myself. Sometimes a little bit too much. Now, I was hoping that the shoe had 3M on it, but unfortunately it looks like it's more of a reflective silver, not 3M detail, but still really nice reflective silver on on the shoe. One last thing, which is probably my favorite part of this entire presentation. When you open the lid of the box here, you actually have an actual photograph of Wilson Smith III back in the day, surrounded by all the different sneakers that he was working on that says the same quote as the insult, in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Thank you, Wilson, Wilson Smith III. This is an incredible touch here on this entire package and presentation dedicated to one of the premier designers of our time, a true pioneer. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the Nike Air More Up Tempo 96. Thank you, Wilson Limited Edition. Now look guys, I, I've seen a lot of sneakers this year. We've talked about a lot of sneakers so far this year, but as always, the title really is not clickbait. This is one of the best sneakers, in my opinion, of 2022. Why? Not just because it's a dope silhouette that just is kind of a timeless silhouette at this point. I mean, we're still buying up tempos, like we're still buying Jordans, even though they dropped 30 some odd years ago. But outside of that, the storytelling of this shoe, the details of this shoe, and this shoe being dedicated to one of the best designers out there, you don't really see designers getting their flowers as much as I feel like they should out here. Like Tinker Hatfield has had like his sketch series and some other things, but most times designers have to hide their name and hide their imprint on certain sneakers, kind of like what happened with the Mummy Dunks that Bryce Wong did. But when you get an entire sneaker with packaging dedicated to you, the way that Wilson had this dedicated to him, if you saw the sneakers live stream, when they presented him with this shoe, it actually reduced the man to tears because of how special special it was and because of how respected he is and admired he is around Nike and in the streetwear and footwear industry as a whole. This man is special out here. And if you guys are familiar with Wilson Smith III, I would really suggest you guys do your Googles and look up this guy because if it weren't for him, a lot of people wouldn't be making the resale money that they're making today. Sneakers as we know it wouldn't be sneakers as we know it today without a Wilson Smith III. Tinker Hatfield wouldn't have been able to do the things that he did if it were not for a Wilson Smith III. We wouldn't have had some incredible, incredible sneakers if it wasn't for Wilson Smith. So again, very well deserved. This was 
an incredible sneaker. It, it kind of disappointed me, and I guess this will be my last thought. It kind of disappointed me how many people got excited at first when they shot and dropped the sneaker on the sneakers live stream, which was really fly. This sneaker, I believe, is coming out in October officially on the app. However, when people saw that it was still available overseas, a couple of places like Slam Jam and, and sneakers and stuff, they were like, ah, never mind. It's not that big of a deal. Like it took away from the phenomenal story and the details of this incredible sneaker and its incredible package. And it was so disappointing to me that that's where we are these days in sneakers, that no matter how special a shoe is, if it becomes, um, Bricky, I think, was the word that I saw to describe the shoe. Now, there wasn't that much resale money in it anymore. All of a sudden, the shoe doesn't matter. It's not important. Nobody wants it anymore. And like, guys, I really hope that at some point we get to a place where resale value doesn't determine whether or not a shoe is good or not. Like, we already have enough top 10 lists that are really just hype lists of sneakers that are worth the most money. And when these special projects like these come out, I don't care how much they are or aren't worth on the resale market. I'm gonna get me a pair anyway, just because they're that dope. They tell an incredible story. And again, I would tell you guys the same thing. Don't let StockX bids and asks determine what's dope to you out here. If you like it, you like it. And this sneaker, like I said, in my opinion, one of the best sneakers of the year so far, regardless of how much money this shoe is worth on the resale market. I could care less about that. Hopefully you guys could care less about that as well, but I know resale is still a thing out here. So if you missed out on getting the shoe, you could probably get it for the low right now and not even have to wait until October. Or if you wanna wait, it does come out, I believe sometime like mid-October. I'm not quite sure of the date, but check your sneakers app. I'm sure it's already in there. But with all that said, that's pretty much all that I gotta say about these. Now it's time for you guys to sound off down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the Air More Uptempo 96. Thank you, Wilson Limited Edition. Are these ones that you guys were able to catch on the shot drop? Did you guys not tune in to the Sneakers Live content? Are you gonna try to pick these up in October? What do you guys think about these? Sound up down below, let me know. Of course, right down in the comments, make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the Sneaker Fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these, because I guarantee you, you got a lot more heat on the way. As always, I wanna thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish, taking a look at these with me, unboxing them with me for a couple of minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Nike Air More Uptempo 96. Thank you, Wilson, and until next time, I'm out.